The Great Place to Work Institute of USA, United States of America, has certified one of Africa's leading media companies, TVC Communications, as a great place to work company, making it the first and only media company to be certified in Africa. In recognition for corporate and excellence, TVC Communications received the gold standard certification as a great place to work company and also won a top award as being one of the best workplace in Nigeria in the large corporate organization category and best practice award for excellence in delivery of inspiring people, practices. And over 10,000 organizations from over 60 countries partner with Great Place to Work Institute for assessment annually, benchmark and planning of the actions to strengthen their workplace culture. Let's take a look at the turn of events. I have the Chief Executive Officer, TVC Communications. It's great to have you live in the studio. Uh, first, let's start with Great Place to Work. Tell us more about this. What does this really mean? Yeah, to a lot of people, they may not have heard of this before. The Great Place to Work Institute is a major American institute which audits companies uh, who apply for their certification. It goes into their company and it, and it tells you whether or not you are, in fact, a great place to work. Um, who determines whether you're a great place to work? It's your staff. The people who work in your organization, they are surveyed ask the questions, multiple questions, about the kind of workplace that you operate. And it is the employees of the company who decide whether or not you pass the test to become a member of the Great Place to Work organization. Um, it's a rarefied club. Um, there, there are tens of thousands of companies around the world uh, who managed to get the certification. There are a handful of companies in Nigeria that have received the certification and we are now one of those gold standard employers who are lucky enough to receive this. So it's really a seal of approval from your employees about the kind of workplace you operate. They participate in a survey answering questions about the workplace, but we as the employer and the operators of TVC Communications, we have nothing to do with it. It's independent. We don't see the answers that you, Tulu, and all of your colleagues in the organization right around uh, Nigeria answered those questionnaires. Your answers then go into the Great Place to Work Institute, which also has a, a local branch here in Nigeria, and they run it uh, in conjunction with the American um, operation, and then you find out whether you've passed or you've failed. Now, this is our third time trying to get this certification here. That's the, um, that's the certificate that says we're a gold standard employer now in Nigeria, but it's our third time trying to, trying get, to it. get it, and it takes a lot of hard work uh, with the management team and with more, more especially the employees. That's where I'm going to now. Uh, first and only broadcast media company to be uh, certified and four awards for us alone. A lot of work must have gone into this. Andrew, take us through uh, what's been playing out all, all the while. Yeah, I mean, basically, Tulu, what, what the great place to work certification means is that there is a trust, a very strong bond of trust that we have built up with our employees. If you don't have the trust, that's why they do the survey, it's called the trust survey. If you don't pass the trust test as an employer, then you don't get this little bit of paper here. Um, and so trust is at the very heart and the foundation of what this is all about. Because if you don't have trust between the employer and the employee, then that affects all kinds of things across your company. Most especially, it affects um, uh, uh, productivity sure. among the staff. And when I first came to the company here, Tulu, four years ago, uh, we had a major problem between, of trust between the management and the staff. There were a lot of things that we weren't doing right with our staff. There were lots of great things that we were doing right with our staff. So what we did to set out on this journey was, was basically to ask the staff, what are we doing wrong? How can we improve TVC communications as a workplace? How can we make you feel happier about coming in through the front gates of our premises here in Lagos every day? What are the things we have to do? So what we did was, because there was a lot of frustration that we had to deal with on behalf of the staff, 
I, I said, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have a staff association. We're going to sit down every month with a group of people who the staff have decided should sit down with the management. I pledged as CEO to be at every one of those meetings. Sure. And I said, the only thing I would ask is that we are respectful to one another. There's no raised voices. We're, we're mature adults. And let's, let's hear what your problems are. So with that, we had um, a, a staff association that was put together by the staff. Yeah. They came to meet me. And they came up with a, a list of problems that they perceived um, were, were big, big issues for them. And they were big issues for them. So, uh, But I found a CEO along with the other senior members of the management team who attended these meetings, that actually the things that the staff were bringing to us as problems, big problems for them, were not big problems for us to resolve. These were things that we could do. There were certain things we couldn't do at the outset, but a lot of the things our staff were being very reasonable about. They weren't asking for the impossible. Yes, it was all the usual things like pay. What can you do about pay? And we knew pay was always going to be an issue. So we, we decided we'll deal with the elephant in the room. We'll deal with the biggest issue of all, which is pay. And what we did was um, we set up a system called the KPI system. And what that is is key performance indicators. So it's, it's, it's a measurement of how every single member of staff performs. And everybody signed up to this. So every single employee now sits down with their manager at the end of, the, at the end of each month, and they, they have an agreed set of goals. And if an employee reaches the goals, at the end of the year, we tot up the marks. And if they've done poorly, they might get a, well, if they've done really badly, they won't get any extra pay. But if they've done poorly, they might get 2 or 3% extra in pay. If they've done average, they might get 5, 6, 7% extra pay. And if they've been outstanding, they'll get a higher pay award. But all of this is very transparent. There's no smoke and mirrors. There's no dishonesty. There's no trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. This is transparent. So we've been running that pay award system now for three years. It's worked very well. The staff all believe in it. We may not be paying everybody what they want. Whoever gets the pay they want. None of us does. Um, but we are moving in the right direction all the time. So pay was the first issue. We've dealt with that. And we continue to, to give out pay awards uh, e each year. But then there were other issues as well, um, uh, things that, that, are, that impact on the lives of every employee we have here. We have 500 staff here, a little over 500 staff. And it's the normal things that our staff needed, the same as everybody else in Nigeria needs. They, 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 they needed to be able to get to work on time. We all know that the traffic in Lagos, in particular here in Lagos, is just appalling. It's impossible to get anywhere. And for our workers who work early in the morning and late at night because we run TV and radio stations, we said, OK, we'll, we'll lay on transport. Lots of companies do that. It's not a big deal. So we laid on transport. Um, but also things like we give free food out uh, during the month. Um, we, we have all kinds of other activities. But the three... The three big issues when we started off on, on this journey, when we asked the staff, what are, what are the issues for you? There was pay. They also said childcare was a big issue. Mm. I said, well, what can we do about childcare? So last year, we said, OK, we're going to open a staff crash. And we, we built a beautiful, I'm told it's one of the best staff crashes in Nigeria. Uh, it's up there with the big oil companies. Apparently, it's better than some. Um, but we did that for our staff. So childcare, we know because we've got a lot of young mothers in particular who are working here. They needed help looking after their kids. So we said, OK, we'll do it. And we did it. And we've got a fantastic facility. Another of the big, big issues when we started off on this journey, and this was a wish list now. The staff weren't demanding these things, but these were a wish list. Pay, childcare. And then they said, well, the ultimate thing would be to own our own home. Well, that's true. Three weeks ago, we announced the beginning of the TVC Communications Build Your Own Home Scheme. And this is where TVC will pay the majority of the sum of money involved to buy up to 200 members of staff a plot of land upon which to build their own homes. So that is huge for the staff. It's huge for the company. But it's going to transform the lives of the families of the people who work here.
So they're just some of the things well, that we do. This, indeed, it's commendable. And I must say again that I'm happy to be part of this family. Uh, you know, uh, now, um, other, other companies were recognized at this very event. And uh, what more? What would you say about some of them? And what more should we expect moving on? You know, we would always want more. <laughs> That's one of the Even other we still appreciate, we still appreciate this. <laughs> but just before I go on to talk about some of the other companies okay. who, are, who are part of this club, right. if right, you like. Great. Yeah. Um, some of the other things things, though, that we, we do for the staff to Lou okay. are, are smaller things. Um, for example, we've got a health and wellness clinic here, and we provide counsellors to our staff. Anybody who wants to go and talk to one of these, they're independent counsellors. We just pay them, but, but they act as mentors and mental health specialists mm -hmm. for anybody, any member of our staff who has a problem. It, and it may not be a work problem. It could be to do a problem at home. It could be marital difficulties, relationship difficulties, having problems with their kids and just needing somebody to talk to. So we provide that service. It's very, very important. Mental health is a huge issue in Nigeria, as it is all over the world. And, and you know, it's good to talk, as they say. So, so having that counselling service there is very, very important. We also have a health centre where people can go and check up on their blood pressure, their blood sugars, uh, we've got uh, uh, keep fit equipment and so on, people can use that. We have a library that we provide to staff, it's a quiet room, it's probably the quietest room in the entire complex here. It's a beautiful place, you can go in there, select a book off the shelves, sit down and read quietly and peacefully. So all of those things are very important. We also do, we have social events like the TVC annual games, which is our own mini Olympics. Yeah. We started that last year for the first time. Jeez. Hugely successful for all of our staff all around Nigeria came here and we all gathered and we had a, a magnificent day. Um, we have the annual staff party this year. It'll be a different affair because of COVID. We have Fit Fab Fridays. We have Fun Fridays. We do a lot of a social lot. gatherings. Obviously, now they're, they're socially distanced gatherings, but these are all very important things so that the staff of our company can let off steam. They can mingle with all of the directors. Everybody gets involved. There's no hierarchy when it comes to these things. We're all one family. So all of that trust uh, that has been built up over the last three, four years, that togetherness, that working together, that common purpose has what has eventually led to this and to, and these, to all this. Yeah. these lovely trophies here. <laughs> this looks really good. I'm proud. I'm a member of this family. Uh, no, no, wrong but enough. You, yeah. you, were, you yeah. were asking me. Yes, Sorry, I did. Just, who, I did. You know, who, else, who else got these? Well, yes. some of Nigeria's other best employers, um, I'm glad to say we're the only media and broadcasting company in Nigeria. We deserve a round of applause. In so. Nigeria <laughs> and indeed in continental Africa, we're the only media and uh, broadcasting company to receive this certification. But we're up there now in Nigeria. The other winners were the likes of Pfizer, Sterling Bank, FBN, the Ideas House just up the road from us here. It's a very small company, but they are fantastic. All wow. of these companies, PwC, who you know very well, right. uh, <laughs> Andrew and all the yes, people Andrew down there, and all of down at PwC. And then on a worldwide level, we're up there with Cisco, uh, Hilton Hotels, DHL, Mars Confectionery. This is a rarefied club. You have to do what is best with your employees to get, get into this club. The hard work, though, for us now to do is that whilst we have these great awards, we only hang on to it for one year. So we are already now working, uh, all of the management team, and I'm, I have to praise the management team here, uh, who did outstanding work for us to get all of this. Uh, Mabel in our, in our uh, corporate communications department, Victoria Ajayi, our deputy CFO, who, uh, who received one of the awards the other night, Kemi and all the team in the People CEO department, all of the management team, our director of news, director of radio, all of the team worked incredibly hard to get this. It's a lot of effort, no, no, no. It takes a lot of time, sure. but it's about trust. And if you don't have trust with your employees, you don't get this. Let's part up on this note. How, how well do you want us to keep trusting? We trust you now. We believe what you say. Just tell us something more. It's the end of the year. We're rounding up the year. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're smart. Are you looking for free things now to me? Is that, is that what this is about? Well, everybody wants to hear something good from you. Well, well, this is something good. This is, this, this is something good. There's yes, this something is good. really good and commendable. But look, we've really. got, we're, we're, like, we're like every other company in Nigeria. To this all sounds 
wonderful and happy clappy yeah. and isn't TVC a fantastic place to work? Yes, it is. Um, but we are doing the hard yards like every other Nigerian company. The economy this year has been right. awful. I, I could say worse. We're, recession but already. we're now in recession, the worst recession in 40 years yep. of the FT last yep. week. Um, you know, economically, we are finding it hugely challenging, just like everybody else is. So, you know, this is all the nice stuff that we worked very hard to get, but we have a bottom line here. And the reason these awards are important is because this will feed into our bottom line. We get more productivity from our staff. We get more cooperation from our staff. They believe in the products and services that we, that we operate. And just recently, of course, we had some bad news here in our company a few weeks ago during the NSARS um, um, uh, um, debacle. Yeah. Uh, and and we, we've had a lot of challenges in this company. True. But you know what? We're coming through it. And because our staff are so engaged, our staff were the ones who came to our rescue a couple of weeks ago. They came in here uh, in very harsh times, in tough circumstances, when people were afraid all over Lagos, all over Nigeria. Our staff came in here and got us back on the air two days Jeez. later after Jeez. we were taken off the air. That's what dedication, loyalty and togetherness means to a company. Because we wouldn't have got that if we hadn't have had that partnership with our staff. So that's how much it means. It is tangible. It's not just the nice fluffy stuff, the awards and the gongs. It has a real meaning and it impacts the bottom line to Luke. Chief Executive Officer, uh, TVC Communications, Andrew Hallow. And I must thank you very much. It's always nice talking to you. <laughs> thank you thank for you your too. time.